start this video off, it's just going to be a brief video, a bit of an introduction to the next project I'm about to embark on. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to show you to start with. I've got a couple of videos um, from when we picked this thing up. This is um, going to be named Grandad Mac, this project. It's a Barford Adam Mechanical Gardener. It was um, my great grandfather's and it's uh, seen better days. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Um, what you'll see in the videos is from when we went to Gisborne and picked it up. Everything was stacked away and been in storage for a few years in a, um, an apple box. Uh, got it all out of the box and laid it out. Had a quick look over things while we were there. Loaded it onto my dad's trailer and brought it home. So here we are now back in my shed. All the bits and pieces around me. We've got um, yeah, a couple of sets of handlebars, lots of the, the different tools and implements that go with this thing. So I'll take you off the tripod, have a little bit of a look around at some stuff and um, go from there. I've got a lot of work ahead of me so yeah we'll see how things go. Okay so here's a bit of a look over at uh, what we brought back with us. Uh, we'll start at the front down here we've got the Reel mower, I think it is. Roller mower. Uh, catcher that goes onto the front of it. Still got the original decals and stuff on here. See that quite clear. The paint's pretty pretty roughed up and this has got a big dent in the back of it. Um, might be able to panel beat that out, hopefully. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do about the decals yet. I can get replacements, hopefully. Uh, just got to look into the sizing. That's that bit. Uh, wheels, we've got four wheels and one this really long axle. Um, so there's three, here's our wheels. Um, the ratchet clutch on this one, if I put my foot on that, it still turns in one direction and not the other, so that one's functioning. Uh, another one. This one's seized up. Oh no, that one spins freely. This is the seized one. So as you can see, the whole the whole rim is turning inside the tire. And this one here, we're missing missing the clutch at this stage. Bit of work there. Bit of hunting down the tires. If um, if none of these are any good, out of the four, I might get two good ones. Who knows? Moving on. Sickle bar mower. It's uh, blades were still moving backwards and forwards, so that's a good sign. It's had a bit of a crash. One of these is out of alignment down here. A um, few little nails that have been put in just to space things and stop it jamming up and seizing. I'm going to get all of that sorted out. Uh, two weight bars and two counterweights for the front. Two sets of handlebars, both with the toolboxes. One of them's missing a lid, the other one's still got its lid on there, but it's um, again it's out of the way. A bit twisted and out of shape. Needs a bit of adjusting and bending back into the right place. Uh, around here we've got this set of, I don't know what these are called. Anyway, that's on there little roller wheels that go with it. Uh, plow blade here. Mold, mold board, I think that's what that's called. Not sure. It's all just, just a good coating of rust over it really that'll need stripping off and, and cleaning and repainting. Uh, this mower attachment that sits out off the side, spins around. Looks like a scary dangerous thing that could take your leg off. I don't know if I'll ever use that, to be honest. Far too dangerous. Good to have though. Uh, these discs. And then we come back, we've got two, two of the bases uh, frames. So this one, and this one with the motor sitting on it at the moment. The difference in the two is these bars around the edge here, and I'm not sure. I know this is definitely a mechanical gardener. It's definitely the first model. But maybe they made this in two different versions. One with these with these little bumper bar things around the outside. 
and this one nothing down either side so not entirely sure there motor itself um, yeah it's definitely going to need some work to get it running I'm not sure where we're going to start I uh, know the carburetor butterfly is seized at the moment it's got no fuel in it I haven't even haven't even attempted starting it yet um, it does spin over freely turns turns over freely so that's a, a good thing it's not seized and oh, here's this other little little blade little plow blade down here as well so yeah I'm not sure where I'm going to start with the project um, I'm not going to film everything right through I'll do a lot of stuff off camera and then um, and then sort of give updates from time to time when I think I've got enough enough footage or enough photos or enough to put together to do an update so definitely subscribe subscribe if you want to see the progress all right um, plenty of information available online for this thing which is good there's a lot of forums there's still a lot of them around um, a lot more Adam 15 and Adam 30s they they took over from this model in about 1951 I think it was so but still there's a lot of information around on forums and things so I can um, do what I need to do and get the information I need and, and share with other people so okay see you later